Hey guys, it's Will from Beretta Gaming, and this is going to be part one of my um, many part series on the walkthrough or a let's play guide, if you will, to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time uh, 3D on the uh, Nintendo 3DS. So I'm going to be starting from this point, um, just because in the beginning it shows this like 10 minute long cutscene, and I was going to show it. My camera only records video in 10 minute um, sequences, 10 minute parts. So by the time I got to actually hear it cut out of the video, and I didn't think that part one should just be all of the cutscene. So I'm going to show you um, actually what you need to do to start getting into the missions of this game. So, quick rundown of the controls. The Obviously the circle pad is to walk around. If you're facing you if link is facing you or to the right if you push uh, left left bumper it brings you back to uh, his view and that can also lock on to enemies and uh, it's easier to fight that way the plus pad really doesn't do anything um, it might later on in the game but doesn't anything now uh, a doesn't do anything here um, it does open doors stuff like that like open chests and when you're running, it lets you do this roll. You can... No, I don't want to talk to you. No. No. It lets you do this roll. And, um... You can also attack with your sword and uh, other weapons when you get it. And then B, X, and Y, as you can see here on the touch screen, you can uh, set as other weapons or items that you pick up along with the game. In the center of the touch screen uh, gives you a map. As you can see, that little blue dot is you. And uh, I only have a tiny bit of the map open. And you have your gear, your map, items, your amount of rubies that you have. If you click on this right here, view, it brings you into this like camera mode. And you can just pan around 360, look all around. Helps you find stuff in missions. And then uh, obviously there's your hearts. And I believe that you can get up to 10 hearts. Uh, no, sorry, 20 hearts uh, total as you go through the game. So, let's just get started here. I'm going to show you how to find your first uh, sword that you get. So what you want to do is find this little fenced off area. And there should be a little crawl space here. And you just press A to go in. Then once you're in here, there's this oh blue ruby, sweet. You're gonna be uh yeah, as you can see, there's a big boulder rolling around, so you want to be careful of that. You're gonna want to collect the rubies as you go around because you'll need them uh, very shortly. So then, as you can see, you find this chest, and then he opens it, and you get your. As I say, Kokiri sword. So then, oh, we have to set it. Go into, let's see here, gear, I believe. Yep, and then you gotta click on your sword, double click it. And that actually sets it as, so you can use it. See, so as you can see, now it's set on, oh, sorry, B. B is to take out your sword and actually fight with it. So you wanna be careful of that boulder. Try to get some more rubies here. Nope. Come on. There we go. Okay, so now what you want to do is pretty much just uh, have to look for a lot of rubies. To buy a sword, uh, shield, sorry, in this shop, and I believe it's uh, 40 rubies to get a wooden uh, shield. Then, once you get that, the guy at the entrance to the Deku tree will actually let you go in. So, pretty much what you want to do is just wander around. Whoops, don't go up there. Ooh, nice blue ruby. Those are worth 
five, I believe. Only one complaint with this game so far is Link runs really slowly. No rubies in there. So if you why if you go up this windy thing, you go very carefully across the bridge. Oh, you son of a! I'm trying to play through my camera. It's not very. It's very difficult. That's my excuse for that. And there's a blue ruby at the end of this. Oh God, please don't fall off. Nice blue ruby. So we have 25 rubies now. Oh, where are we going to find the other ones? I believe one of these buildings has chests in it that actually have rubies in it. this building either. What? Oh, blue ruby. Let's see, we have 30 now. It's better have a blue one in it. Alright, so we got 31. And where am I going to find the other 10? 9. Can't remember where more are. Ridiculous. Hmm. There's actually one, I think there's one in the store. Hopefully it's more than, hopefully it's a red ruby. It's probably worth 10. For God's sakes. Okay, so this is the shop. If you go back here, back in the corner, there's a blue ruby. So we have 36. We need to find four more. Right, let's see where we can find these babies. Okay, we just randomly got a blue rupee. That works. Alright, let's go buy this shield. Alright, so you're gonna wanna talk to this really, really short guy and buy this Deku shield. 40 rupees. Okay, then you're gonna wanna leave the shop. Then you have to give me a second here. Actually go into the touch screen and set the Deku shield. Then as you can see, you can actually use it. And you have to talk to this idiot. He just complains that you have a sword and shield, he lets it's gets out of the way. And you face these Venus flytrap things and you get your first Deku stick. You can set these as the uh, wire X buttons. These are helpful later on. You know you always end up with a ton of them and you don't know what to do, but they do come in handy at some points. Okay, so then basically the Deku tree just talks to you. Tells you his sad stories of how he has monsters inside of him and he has been cursed. I you know? always say I'm gonna click yes. If I click no, then I'm not gonna have anything to do. And what you do is basically go inside him, and uh, I'll be showing you that and how to complete him and beat the boss inside of him in part two of. Um, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D Let's Play. So guys, stay tuned for part two.